What's going on, guys? Just a couple things I want to go over. Um, Today is Monday, fresh new start of the week, fresh new start of trading. Um, it's 10.06, so we just started trading about 30 minutes ago. And there's a couple things I'm looking at this morning. Uh, gold, oil, and basically what's going to be happening um, on Wednesday with the FOMC meeting. And the FOMC meeting is basically the Federal Reserve Committee getting together and deciding whether or not they're going to be raising or lowering interest rates. Now that affects the economy greatly because um, when you lower interest rates, that is a huge stimulus for the government and for the economy because um, not only uh, retailers, but companies and uh, loaners and anything that has to do with um, loaning money, the rates get lower, which means that there's more cheap money available and um, people can take bigger risks, which is why usually when you lower interest rates, um, the price of assets go up, which is exactly what um, Trump and the government want to do. They want to lower interest rates so that they can inflate the bubble even more. And if they raise interest rates, then that kind of suppresses um, cheap money and it makes the economy <clears throat> go down more. So... <clears throat> Basically, what the consensus is for this upcoming Wednesday when the FOMC meeting happens is that there's probably going to be a rate cut, which is technically bullish for uh, stocks, but in my opinion, I think it's going to be uh, bullish for gold as well because I think people are starting to realize that Although it seems in the media that we have this booming economy and everything is going great, actually behind the scenes there's been a lot of economic data coming out that actually points to um, economic slowdown and possibly a recession um, within the next year or two. So basically when... Um, fears of an economic collapse or fears of a recession come up, usually gold tends to um, rally and tends to be very bullish because gold is kind of considered like a safe haven asset um, to where people can store their money when they're afraid of um, economic collapse or something like that. So I think with the meeting on Wednesday, they're going to cut rates and I think it's going to be overall bullish for gold because... Um, people are going to start realizing that why do we need to cut rates? Well, it's because the economy is slowing down and they want to boost up uh, the bubble. But many people think it's not going to work this time around. And instead of boosting the economy, it might just uh, make it even weaker. So I think gold is going to react pretty well over the next year. Let me turn off my air. Give me one sec. So yeah, I think it's going to react pretty well for gold. Um, what I've been looking at for gold over the last few days, it has been going sideways after this uh, rally, which started on the 17th of July. Um, basically, we have support here at 1400 and we have resistance here at uh, 1453 We haven't really set a daily higher low yet, so um, we're kind of waiting and see if this is going to uh, react and rally and possibly set this um, higher low and look for a lower high under uh, 1453 um, if this is not uh, setting the higher low then we're looking towards 1400 um, for daily support and hopefully uh, see something like this where we hold support and we go up and we try to make a uh, lower high and kind of tighten in this range if we do break 1400 we lose the daily uptrend and we zoom out to the weekly and we see when we have uh, weekly support so weekly support is set around weekly support is set right here at 1381 so if we lose this level at 1400 if we lose this level here at 1400 then most likely we will uh, drop down and test the weekly support at 1381. So uh, yeah, that's what's going on in gold. Not much to look um, forward to, but um, we have, if we zoom out to the monthly, we still have a long ways to go 
until we start reaching these highs of 2010, 2011, um, just under $2,000 per ounce. So I think with um, the economy kind of slowing down and people getting more worried about um, not only global, not, not only U.S. economy, but global um, economic slowdown as well. I think it's going to be very bullish for gold. And I think um, as long as we hold uh, 1381 or 1400, then it will be um, just another reason why um, gold should be um, bullish. So if we move on to oil, which is another um, commodity I want to get into, oil has been trading sideways for about a week and a half now, and basically we're looking at we're looking at a greater trend here with oil. We're going to be patient with oil. Um, if I zoom out to the weekly, you'll see we have a nice little equilibrium going on, where we have the the high set at 77.69, and we actually have the low here set at 42 um, dollars. We had a weekly lower high set at 66, and we have a higher low set at 50. Another weekly lower high set at 60, and now we're in this uh, range where uh, we're going to be seeing where the long-term vi uh, view of gold, or not gold, but oil is going to be going forward. So we're in this range between $50 and $60. So if we zoom into the daily time frame, um, we can see here that we've hit a daily, a low, a higher low set at uh, $54. And we're kind of in this range now between um, 57 and 54, kind of tightening in this range. Um, so we're going to see if we're going to make a daily trend change and head up or uh, break these levels and head low and test the $50 range. And I don't think any of these moves are going to really start uh, taking place until probably August. So there's some time to wait, and I'm just going to be patient because um, oil has been pretty choppy over the last couple weeks, and I just don't like trading in choppy markets at all, and I just think it'd be better to wait and see um, where this goes. If we break 57, then it could be a bullish uh, move up back towards 60, 66 bucks. Um, if we break down, then we will be testing the $50 range. And this all also plays into the FOMC meeting on uh, Wednesday because depending on what they decide, it really, it really has an effect on what's going to be happening in the stock market and in commodities going forward. I mean, the rates, it affects the whole world. It affects um, institutional investors, retail investors. So this is like really important stuff um, happening on Wednesday, and we're going to see how commodities and stocks react to that. Now, the reason I want to bring up the VIX is because the VIX is the volatility index, um, which basically is the inverse of the S&P 500. And whenever the market um, has a lot of volatility on the downside, um, the VIX tends to, uh, tends to go up sharply. And you can tell that so right now we're on the daily time frame and we're sitting at $13. And usually price doesn't dip below $12, $13. You can see here, every time price gets down, every time the volatility index gets down to like $12, $13, $11, it seems to react. And um, that basically means that we've been having low volatility over the last several weeks. And... Um, it could point towards higher volatility going forward, um, which is probably what's going to be happening with the FOMC meeting Wednesday. Um, normally when Fed chairmen um, have meetings that um, change a lot of the fiscal policies that are going on in government, usually that has a large effect on the volatility in the stock market and it can cause the VIX to spike. You can see here we're already up 7% on the VIX today, 
and I did put some orders on TVIX, which is the ETF um, for the VIX, so we'll see how that um, ends up going. So uh, let's check TVIX and see what I was looking at and see um, how I'm going to be playing this. So basically the bottom on TVIX, the volatility index um, ETF, was set at uh, $12.70. We had a bounce up towards uh, $13.98 and we had a double bottom at $12.70 and now we're looking um, now we're looking to test those uh, highs um, of 1398 and possibly set a lower high and tighten in this range or break 1398 and head up uh, towards 16, 18, 20, 25 dollars even. Um, when this thing gets going, it gets going uh, huge. You can see these spikes here up to 32 dollars, this spike here up to 27 dollars. So I wouldn't be surprised if we can get. Um, some good volatility going uh, this week and get this VIX um, ETF going up too. So if I zoom in, smaller time frame, let me even get the hourly. So yeah, you can see a little bit of a spike today. What I would want to see is something like this, where we have the low, the high, the double bottom, a lower high, a higher low, and then we break out and... Um, Hopefully test, well probably it's not going to test new highs, but at least we get a spike of volatility and um, hopefully make some profits. So those are the three main things I'm looking for um, with the FOMC meeting coming up Wednesday. We have, uh, just to remind you guys, we have gold, which is currently um, anything above 1400 is very bullish and uh, going to see continuation probably. Uh, if you want to trade leverage gold, you have UGLD, which is three times bull, and you have DGLD, which is the three times bear ETF. Um, next, we looked at oil. Oil's been pretty choppy over the last couple days, uh, weeks, so we're looking for this weekly equilibrium pattern and kind of um, between this 57 and 54 level, so we'll see um, if we head up or head down. We're kind of in no man's land right now. So don't want to, I want to take this patiently and kind of see what's going on. So if you want to trade that, we have oil U, which is the three times uh, bull ETF. And we have UWT. Um, that's also bull ETF. Sorry, I meant to put DWT is the three times the bear ETF. Um, and then we looked at the VIX, which is the volatility index. And um, I wanted to highlight this because I think this week with the FOMC meeting, it's going to be very bullish for um, volatility. And we looked at TVIX, which is the um, ETF uh, that correlates with the VIX. That's about it. I'm going to be trying to make uh, more videos and more updates this week. So stay tuned to my channel on YouTube and Instagram. And if you haven't checked out my other channels on Twitter, Medium, and Instagram, um, then go check them out.